Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I want to talk to you about Linux and the command line. Now lately I've been doing a fair bit of videos, actually a lot of videos on self-hosting and when it comes to self-hosting generally they have all been installed on Linux and something uh, installed on like my Raspberry Pi. Now when it comes to installing things on a Raspberry Pi typically or just in Linux in general it's all command line based. So what I wanted to do was to show you a couple ways that you can start getting comfortable with the command line uh, because in reality if you are wanting to get into the IT space and get into this you know just tinkering around self-hosting and uh, learning Linux you cannot avoid the command line. Now I know that there's probably a few articles out there saying, hey look, this is the best Linux distribution to use if you don't like using the command line, stuff like that. Please just learn the command line. There is no other way around it. Uh, if you are refusing to learn the command line, you are essentially cutting yourself off at the knees. <laughs> it's, it's such an efficient tool. And as a cloud engineer, I use it every day. Now there's the alternative of using, you know, GUI interfaces and portals and stuff like that, but it's so inefficient and I can get things done probably two, three, four times as quickly using the command line, if not quicker. So enough kind of rambling about why you need it. You know, I can talk all day about it, but as you've just seen from my previous videos, it's everywhere and if you want to get into self-hosting you need to learn it so let me kind of explain the best way to go about learning it typically most people will be either running windows or be using an apple device now i use windows and the great thing about it is if you want to install linux virtualization is so easy nowadays that all you need to do is install something like what i'm running is just oracle virtualbox there'll be a link in the description now what oracle virtualbox allows you to do is install a virtual machine and all you need to do is download an ISO file, which is just a file that has the Linux distribution on it. Uh, it's just like a virtual CD and you can install that uh, using VirtualBox and it spins up a virtual machine. So this is typical of the interface that I have here. And it's just a way for me to, you know, make a new VM and set up the configuration of what I want and I can start it. And then you get a screen like this once it's all up and running. Now, this is a great way to learn Linux and the command line because you can break it and it doesn't matter. It just create a new version of a your virtual machine. Now, when you are playing around with Linux and the reason I'm saying to create a virtual machine is because you don't really want to wipe out your main operating system for Linux because I've done this before when I tried to learn Linux and it scared me, right? I was like, I don't know how to do this. I need to be able to, you know, I want to play some games and I can't. I need to install the Office products and I can't. Oh, I'm just, Linux is crap. I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to install Windows back on. Now, that is jumping into the deep end but in a bad way because you know you want to slowly walk into the stuff you want to be aware of what linux can and can't do um, linux can't do everything but when you find out what the alternatives are and stuff like that it makes it a lot easier to start getting into it so this is why a virtual machine is a great way for you to figure out you know what linux can do get a feel for it first and then if you get really comfortable with it then you can even install it alongside windows on your main um, pc or laptop or whatever so in the virtual machine again try the great thing with this is that you can use the, the terminal uh, which is this here to try to do everything right you can update your machine so like sudo apt update let me make this bigger so you can see the uh the screen one second so here we go we just zoomed in a bit so that you can update the machine using the command line so you can learn all of these little command line tools um now of course you can do it in the gui right like there's of course there's an update manager and stuff here as well but when you are self-hosting and you don't have a nice gui interface this is a nice way for you to learn you know the the command line way of updating things installing tools and stuff like that and i can guarantee you when you are starting to learn Linux and you're like, how do I install this? They will just give you like a string of text, right? When you go to install something off the internet, yeah, they will just give you like a command line text on how to do stuff. So just showing you an example. So when you go to install something like Docker, so you'll see here that it's just a bunch of commands that they give you. And the sooner that you start getting comfortable with the command line, the sooner that when someone are, or you're following a guy to install something on Linux and you're self-hosting or you're you know at work, this stuff makes sense to you, right? You're like, oh, I know what app get does and update. That's just updating my repository list. Oh, cool. I'm installing some certificates. That's fine. You know, you start getting comfortable when, when you see command line stuff, you're actually like, cool, this is how it should be done. And let's just quickly install it. So yeah, this is a great way for you, for you to learn it. 
Now, the other alternative to a virtual machine that I would suggest is if you can't get a virtual machine on here, uh, you could try setting up a free trial account in Azure Cloud or Google Cloud or AWS or something like that and play around with their virtual machines on there. Now, um, I've got a some videos that I'll post in the description for some playlists on how to get started with some of those. Um, but if you aren't keen on playing in the cloud, go out, get yourself a little Raspberry Pi. Uh, here in New Zealand, they're about 100 bucks. I think this is like a quad core eight gigabyte model. And trust me, it's awesome. I think it has two displays that can go up to 4K. Um, so yeah, they're pretty powerful now and they're a great way for you to learn Linux and play around as well. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about and that's probably the way that I would suggest for you to learn Linux and to get comfortable with the command line. Uh, I'll make some more videos on the Linux topic in general uh, just because it's a very um, important tool to know and I also have an, uh, a way for you to install the WSL which is the Linux subsystem uh, on Windows so this here so this is just like a command line that i have um on windows but it's running full linux uh, in the command line i have a link in the description on how to install that as well on windows so you yeah, make sure you do that as well uh, that's another way that's uh to get a feel for the command line purely without a GUI interface or anything um but yeah that's pretty much it for this video um look out for some more linux related stuff uh be it self-hosting or directly on linux itself um and i'll see you in the next video cheers bye